Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another home video tour. Today we're touring three homes in one video. This is going to be the Vertex community built by TriPoint Homes. We have some beautiful townhomes with a backyard in this most sought after a neighborhood in town, which is Summerlin. Summerlin is um, a beautiful neighborhood. We're about 3,500 feet above sea level. You can see the strip down there and it is a lot lower in elevation. I don't know if you can tell from the video. But uh, Summerlin is known for having some of the best school districts in town. And, uh, you know, for all that information, you can go onto some websites. You can reach out to me and I can get you in touch. Uh, well, I can get you the information that you need as far as school districts and all that. Now, we are at Vertex. Vertex has an HOA of $225 a month. That does, however, include, and I'm going to do this while I walk around this uh, exterior so you can get a better feeling of it. That does include the $225 a month, uh, the insurance on the roof, and also the painting on the outside of the house. So this building, if uh, let's say in five years needs to be repainted, that's not something that the owner will have to do because the HOA will cover that as well. And usually that costs around, I don't know, $1,100, $1,200 or so, uh, just to do the pop-outs and things like that every five years, for example. So it's a cost that you save with the included higher HOA. You also don't have to worry about the landscaping in the front or in the back. And then we don't have a, a driveway, however, here. So one thing to consider if you were to buy these homes, but we do have some nice sized lots. And if you get the right lots, maybe a corner lot, you could be somewhere, um, you know, you could get even a pool even in here. Now, we do have one, uh, this is gonna be the plan two, which is uh, 1824 square feet. We have the plan one, which is 1790 square feet. And then we have the plan three, which is 1914 square feet definitely my favorite floor plan is that plan three so we're going to start here from the plan one which is the interior units now plan two and three are usually the ex the, ex the, um, the side units and those are going to be the ones that are a little bit more expensive plan one is the least expensive with a starting price of four hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars that will give you uh you know two bedrooms and a loft unless you want to do you want to turn the loft into a third bedroom you can do that as well and two and a half bathrooms two bay car garage on the on the front of the house as you saw we have the garage entrance from here and then you also have the door entrance in the front so it's a nice town home these homes are separated between the two units from a firewall so technically the walls are not in common like if i bang on one wall you won't hear it on the other side now, as I walk into this one, we will see a nice foyer with the ceilings going all the way up here. It's about 20 feet in height. We have nine foot ceilings on the first floor and then uh, nine foot ceilings also on the second floor included in the base price. At 469, this one uh, provides a good, more affordable option to be in Summerland. And uh, you, you're still getting three, four bedrooms in this floor. Plan. Nice and open space here. As soon as you walk in, you see the amount of room, a big size island, and then uh, a nice, nicely positioned uh, kitchen right here. So perfect layout, I think, for this downstairs space. You can see here, nice L-shaped couch, plenty of room here. Doesn't feel crowded also. Now this, this table is a little small. You know, the furniture, they do it on purpose to make it smaller uh, so that the space looks bigger. But, you know, it's still a good size. You know, you still have enough room to put a bigger table if you wanted to. Obviously, we are in an 1,800 square feet townhome. I don't expect to have a full-size table in this home. Uh, as far as cabinets and all the uh, materials included, I'm going to talk to you guys about those and what these homes could cost you out the door. We do have your pantry uh, right here, which is nice. And the GE, GE refrigerator is optional if you want to get it with their 
uh, with their design center, it's about 1800. You can get also this uh, big size island, which is included the, the size of the island. However, the materials in here, they have some nice options. You have a white quartz, it's nice neutral white quartz, including the base price. This one is a little bit of an upgrade, about three grand to get this one. And then we have uh, undermount sink. It comes with a stainless steel finish. This one's gonna be an extra thousand to get the granite composite. Uh, we also have a nice, uh, you know, uh, faucet. Those are all options that you can choose at the design center. As far as the cabinets, that's where you're going to have the biggest, uh, one of the biggest uh, expenses in this townhome is going to be cabinets, countertops, and flooring. Flooring being the most expensive one. But uh, the cabinets on these ones, it's going to cost you somewhere around three grand to get the shaker style, white, nice, more modern. It comes with a 42 inch cabinet, but we are. Uh, in, the included option is going to be a birch color and it's not going to be a, a, a shaker cabinet. It's going to be almost a shaker. So it's going to have a different finish right here on the inside. A nice brown though. I kind of, kind of like that option better than the white. We have here the push in stove or the slide in stove. This one has the two oven option. You can get that option if you want to, or uh, you can get the included one, which is, has one big oven and then the five burners cooktop. It'll come also with this microwave on top. If you want to upgrade to the stainless steel hood, you can do that. Uh, it, that will be an option that you can add about, you know, four or five grand. Now, the back of this house has these two big openings, which allow plenty of light to come in. But what I like about this floor, the, about this home is the fact that you are getting a backyard. Now for this size backyard, you're probably expecting to spend about $10,000 for the lot premium. If you get something bigger, maybe a corner lot, or if you have a specifically positioned lot that uh, maybe allows you to get a nice uh, strip view or an, or an Arroyo view, Arroyo's Edge um, is, a, is a nice uh, spot out here that you can oversee, then great. So you can get uh, you know a nice uh, setup, but that's going to cost you up to $50,000 with maybe even a bigger uh, backyard. As you can see, this floor plan also has the balcony and then the plan three as well has an option for the balcony. But this is the one that we're going to see today. Now we'll try to speed it up because we have to see three homes here. And I'll talk about the flooring and the other upgrades and the other homes that we're going to go check out. But we're looking at here. Uh, this one is a hardwood floor. This is going to cost you an arm and a leg. So I probably wouldn't do it with the builder because they're expensive. Nice setup right there when you walk in. This will be your garage entrance. That's going to be your two-car garage up front right there. And then you also get a powder room downstairs. It does not come with any of the uh, wallpaper that you see in this model home. Some storage downstairs as well. And then here you go. It comes with the pedestal sink. It'll have the single uh, faucet, the single hole faucet, which is nice. It's going to be a chrome finish mowing. Yeah. Going up to the second floor, we'll find a nice loft, which could be turned into a third bedroom if you needed three beds. But we're at 469 starting price at at least a $10,000 lot premium. And then on top of that, you'll have another, you know, more uh, upgrades at the design center, I'm sure. Now, this one has a nice built in, which is not included. But it's a nice size loft. If you want to turn this into a bedroom, it could be a small bedroom as well. And uh, it comes with the pony wall that you see here with the cap on top. You can upgrade the cap if you want to. That stereo is not included. It comes with the same pony wall as you see here. But if you want to upgrade it with that, you can, and you can do it also upstairs. Just the downstairs is going to cost you around $1,500 for all the upstairs as well, probably around four grand total. Bedroom upstairs, you can see the nine foot ceilings here. And uh, plenty of windows. You have uh, two doors to the closet here, which is connected. Uh, you can open it from there. So this whole wall has a closet behind, which is nice. Plenty of room. And then you'll get the full bathroom in this bedroom because we have the two bedroom option. Now, here's the thing. If you didn't have the two bedroom option, we, you would have a door on this side. This would be walled off. So you can have the bedroom over here that can use this bathroom as well. And this bedroom right here, you go out and go into the bathroom. As far as the bathroom, you'll get quartz countertop included in the base price. You'll get the birch cabinet, just like I mentioned downstairs. On the flooring included 
it is going to be a 17 by 17 tile in all the bathrooms and the kitchen so any wet areas entryway laundry room that's where you're going to get the tile uh, otherwise everywhere else is going to come with carpet this is a nicely upgraded carpet it's going to cost you extra this one the last sign you can just jump over if you have kids that are going to get in trouble and get hurt like that or just go down the stairs we have right here your uh, laundry room which is uh uh doesn't have the washer and dryer included it also doesn't have this cabinet upper cabinet included the wallpaper is not included you do get this smart panel and you'll get a rack on top of where your washer and dryer will go you'll also get the a plastic pan so that's nice in case your washer does leak it goes into the pan and then it leaks out to the outside of the house so you don't get a house with a huge leak that goes out to the to the first floor this would be what they call the primary bedroom it does have also the balcony option and this is what you're paying for when you get a fifty thousand dollar lot you're going to get a bigger backyard also no neighbors behind you get, might get some nice mountain music you see outside we'll go there in a second but yeah good size king size bed about 14 feet on that wall by about 15 on this one gives you plenty of room and then a good size closet as well for a primary it looks like it's a decent size this one will come with the fiberglass enclosure uh, walk-in shower just like you see it you can change it out for a tub and shower combo if you want to uh, but there's no option to get a tub and the shower separate fortunately you're getting a oh this is cool you have a little cabinets right here in your toilet um unfortunately there's no option to get shower and tub you're in a townhome uh, after all so you can't expect to have all that is this real no it's fake I was like, what the heck that's nice though uh good size balcony here overseeing some nice mountain views uh depending on the lot that you get over on the other side right here they plan on building a little park Right there then there's going to be new construction homes i know woodside homes purchase some of that land pulte purchased some of the land so there's going to be new construction going on a little bit more on that side uh this would be all landscaped you know there's a landscaping some paths walking paths and things like that going back out we'll go over to see the other floor plan now which is the plan two and that's a side unit so you get a little bit more windows when you get a side unit which is nice not uh many people like it but i don't know uh, most people do uh plan two is going to start at 492. now this floor plan that we were just in how much would it cost you out the door i would say most people are going to be anywhere between 500 to 520 thousand. i mean if you want a model home you can probably make it you know 550 but if you want to stay at the base price a lot of the included options are nice you could just stay at the base price plus a ten thousand dollar lot premium probably going to be somewhere around uh you know 480 and get another ten thousand dollars in upgrades for miscellaneous items like uh, you know lights or things like that that you want to add um but that will be yeah around 490 minimum i would say people are probably going to spend on this house now this will be uh the garage now they made it into a temporary powder room for guests that come in check out their homes this is the plan two plan two does have a plan uh, there's also plan 2x which is the same exact floor plan it's just that it doesn't have all these windows on this side of the wall because it's going to be an internal unit so they do build the plan two as an inside unit as well but this one has a lot more light coming in because of the side units plan two has a uh, is starting at $492,000. Love the upgrades that they put in here. And uh, that doesn't include obviously lot premium and all of that. But we have, uh, we have already a third bedroom included and uh, we have 18, 24 square feet. Nice. Downstairs, you can see here, uh, beautiful open space. I love this floor plan. I think a lot more than the other one. It feels just a tight bit, a uh, tidy bit bigger and it allows you to have i mean i'm guessing it's just the warmth of the cabinets i really like the style uh, that's probably capturing me but i do like uh, that extension right there that's an option by the way uh, to get those extra cabinets on that side otherwise it will end right here where you see that pantry and then uh, they also added here the fancy cafe 
uh, version of their appliances, which is going to be the most expensive upgrade that you can get on the appliance packages. And this is going to probably run you around six to seven grand, uh, depending if you get the refrigerator as well or not. This is also an oven, by the way, so you can bake a pizza or chicken in there. And then you also have the double oven option underneath. Beautiful quartz. I love the way this one looks. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, actually, this is a, this is a granite, but it looks like quartz. It's beautiful. Uh, underground sinks and all that good stuff. Love how this island overlooks this living room, yet you have your dining room over to the left. Good size dining room for the size of a townhome. And then you get that backyard over here. As far as the backyard, you'll get about the same square footage in the backyard, but yeah, it's about the same as the other home that we just saw next door. But this one, and that will be the, the bigger lot that you're getting, depending if it's a corner lot, you might get more uh, you know, space here in the backyard. As you can see, they built a nice uh, pergola for a sitting area. You can do that as well. And then if you get a corner lot, you can even build a pool out here if you wanted to. Now, it's not gonna come with all the landscape. That's just, it's just gonna come with dirt and then you do your own landscaping after. Uh, beautiful uh, added wooden pergola here. I love what they did there. But yeah, I mean, Really nice uh, setup on this house. Now the extra price at 492, starts getting expensive, but after all you are buying in summer and west. So you would have to accept a higher price on the house. Otherwise you go somewhere else. You go Southwest, you go Northwest and get another house. Powder room over here. This will be your garage, which is also locked. You know, they put storage and stuff. They store things in there, but it's a two car garage. Not much to see in there. And we go upstairs to the second floor. Now, as we go upstairs, guys, if you haven't done so already, consider hitting that like button. You know, I notice when I say it in the video, a lot of people go out there and hit the like button. It helps. It helps a lot to push this video out to get more views. So I'm going to try to say it a little bit more often. But hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you want more videos uh, like these of new construction homes out here in the Las Vegas Valley, as well as resale homes whenever I get the, uh, the chance to tour a nice home. That maybe it's a good deal, like a fixer upper or uh, something like that. Um, and also, if you guys need some help purchasing a home out here in the Las Vegas Valley, whether it's a new home, resale home, whatever it is, and you feel me, uh, you feel my vibe, you want to have me represent you, I would love to assist you. All my information is down below in the description, and you can call me anytime. Now, we go over to the second floor. We have the three bedrooms set up. The first one is going to be your primary bedroom. And why not? Let's see it first. We have here good size, about the same as the other home, about 14 by 15. Good size bedroom. And we go in here, we have the primary bathroom, which is a lot bigger with the walk-in shower, just like we saw next door. Now, this is not going to come with the black. It comes with the chrome. So that's something you can add yourself. For the whole house, you're probably looking around two grand with all the black fixtures, including these hinges, maybe the toilet paper hand water and all that stuff. Over here, your toilet area. And then you do have a nice uh, walk-in closet in here that loops around. Look at that. Good size. This is an upgrade that you can do with the, with the Las Vegas closets. And uh, it's going to be part of your, uh, the price of your house if you do that. Or you can do it yourself after with one of the companies, one of the many companies that offer those services. Over here we have the laundry room, has a little linen area on top. You see that rack that's included. And this linen area is also included and you'll get the pan underneath. If you wanna get this couple of washer and dryer with the builder, you can do it. It's gonna cost you more, somewhere around 1600 to 1800. But I don't know if it's worth it with them. You can get something like 500 a piece, maybe a thousand out the door if you go to Home Depot. As far as uh, right here, we have that tub and shower combo, you know, fiberglass, all the golden fixtures, those are optional. And then here they added also a second sink. It comes with one in the center. When you add the second one for about 1500, we'll give you a nice setup there. Second bedroom here is about 10 by 11. Maybe it's like nine by 11. 
it's a little skinnier room, but still you can fit a queen size bed in here, I think. And then just slide into a closet. All the doors are six foot eight high. And then in here we have a bigger bedroom for sure. Uh, that's probably about 10 feet. And then by, I don't know, 14, 15 feet wide, which is nice. Gives you enough room here to put a nice uh, setup for your couch. I mean, you could even push your bed over here uh, on that side a little bit more and you have more of a um, of a second, you know, uh, kind of like a retreat for this room. And then you can see here the walk-in closet. So far, this is definitely the winner, having two big bedrooms. This one's a little bit on the small side, but this one is big. So this would be perfect office, perfect secondary bedroom. And then that would be the primary, which is a good size as well. So this uh, this floor plan really checks all the boxes of a nice three, two home. Uh, you know, I mean, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, house. And uh, we're looking at 492 starting price, but then after your upgrades, you're probably gonna be somewhere around that 420 to 440 uh, price range is what most people are gonna spend. Uh, now, 492 is because we do have this, uh, it's an end unit. So you gotta consider all these extra windows they have to put into the house on top as well. Uh, you know, that, that adds extra cost uh, to the material and that's why you have the higher price of the home, but also because it is more desirable since you have a nice corner lot you get a lot more light coming in at least most people do want that and uh, we're gonna head out over to plan three which is on the other side the plan three has uh here's your garage for the plan three is also an end unit and the starting price is four hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars definitely the best value in my opinion for the amount of square footage that you're getting but uh, 499 plus the lot premium, I'm guessing because it's a corner unit, the lot is gonna be more expensive. So maybe 20 grand, unless you get a side yard like the one that we just saw, maybe it'll cost you 40 to 50, depending on the views as well. We go in here, we have uh, 19, 14 square feet, three bedrooms and a loft as well. Also getting the corner lot will give you more of a backyard on this side. And as soon as you walk in, you're greeted by this nice two-story foyer. You put a nice chandelier here in the middle. All the nice uh, stair rails that you can add. The living room is spacious. Dining room is, uh, is a pretty good size. Um, and then you get all these windows on this side, as well as all these windows on this side of the house. Also, the loft is going to have a big window up there as well. That's when you get the corner uh, lot. That's what you get. With... Uh, Nice size island, as you can see, we have four seats here. Beautiful course that they added. That's gonna cost you like five or six grand. All the upgraded cabinets, this is a shaker. Uh, still, this one is not much of an upgrade, like three to four grand, so I like that. And then uh, obviously that the appliances, we talked about that. As far as flooring, I needed to mention that to you guys. This flooring is gonna be the most expensive part with TriPoint. It's one of those items that I personally don't suggest my clients to upgrade with them. It's just the downstairs is gonna cost you like 15 to 20 grand. Um, that's for a luxury vinyl plank like this. If you go wood, good night. I mean, it's over. Probably 25, 30 grand with them. If you go here, you see the backyard is a good size. Then having that extra width really helps. You can put a pool in here if you wanted to. It's not gonna be a huge pool, but you can put a nice pool over there. Not that many people would. You just have to stay five feet away from the, uh, from the wall, which is about there. And then three feet away from that one. So this could be, you see this uh, brick place right here? This could be your pool. And obviously, if you want to get a pergola, that's going to be extra with the builder. You'll get the concrete underneath and all that good stuff. This setup is going to cost you eight to 10 grand. I love how they did it, though. This is exactly what I need to do in my house. Because I have all my barbecues and all that stuff that need to be covered. So I need to buy something like this. They have these gazebos that have been putting into my rental properties personally, uh, just to save some money. That they work just as good as your, your cover patios, but the gazebos are gonna cost you 1500 and it's a nice 12 by 14 gazebo. So really nice option uh, for a lot of people. Your garage entrance is also gonna be here. You get an extra second pantry if you wanna make this into a pantry, you didn't like the size of that one. Oh, that's a good size. And then your, your powder room right here as well. Going up to the second floor. 
I have this huge window here on the staircase. It is upgrade also the servants to the nice uh, metal, horizontal metal canisters. And uh, that's gonna cost you probably four to five grand. Your loft is right here, really good size, kind of tucked away, so I like that. And uh, yeah, really nice. Look at all the extra light coming in from all these windows on the side. This would be your primary bedroom. It has about 15 feet by 14, so about the same size as the other two bedrooms from the other uh, townhomes. And then you get a tub and shower combo. You see, this is what I was talking about. This is a wide tub as well. So it's not the regular size tub that you get usually. And also a nice walk-in shower as well if you want to use it as that. And uh, two undermount sinks. This one comes with two closets. It's the only floor plan that comes with two closets. You can see right there. Toilet and then the second closet. And it's a good size second closet. So. I like it so this will be for her and this one also for her and uh we go out to the other two bedrooms we're almost done guys we we hit three full home tours in one video so that you guys don't have to look around for all the videos it's all in one video and have all the information you need laundry room we talked about what's included what's not smart panel i never covered this one that much but you can see here here are all the cat fives and cat six that's uh, that they added to this house and these go to all the bedrooms and outlets because they added them and then what you can do is you can have wired internet to your tvs you have also cable you can go right here you can put your your modem you can also do the high uh, the wired uh internet like optic cable internet so um you know you have high speed internet if you want to the other two bedrooms over here about 10 by 10 on this one and we have also a sliding door closet this is probably the smallest one and they used it as an office and then we have the second one so about the same size 10 by 10 but you do you are getting an extra loft in here which is nice and then this is a queen size bed you know looks good it's a good size walk-in closet in this one too that's cool and then some a linen closet and last but not least your secondary bathroom with the second sink added 1500 they added the upgrade of this tile as well walk-in shower it comes with a tub you can upgrade to the shower about a grand or so but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments all my information uh, is down there as well in the description in the comments let me know what you think because i want to know your opinion is this too pricey is it not starting at five hundred thousand in this house you're probably looking at 530 to 570 out the door depending on how many upgrades you put in 570 is going to make it look like a model home uh, but you are in summer now, so understand that and a lot of you guys are going to come at me and say oh shoot you know 570 for a townhouse that's crazy i understand it's totally understandable it's a crazy market that we're in with these interest rates as well but that's what the market is calling for people are still sp spending this much money for a townhome in summerland so it is what it is now depending also on the lots and everything it could be even more expensive than that which is crazy however they are offering some incentives we have up to three percent towards your closing costs if you go uh with their lender and on top of that they are also doing a six months interest rate lock that means if you go into this community you can build almost build one from scratch and uh, you can get locked in at six percent interest rate for six months and you don't have to worry about it so if you guys are interested hurry up reach out to me all my information is down below in the description so i can help you get into into one of these townhomes thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video and hit the subscribe uh, button for any future videos that i'm going to do on this channel see you in the next one